Good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday. Good Friday. And uh, I thought I'd let y'all know that I'm doing okay. Oh, my cheeks are a little red. I don't know why. Sometimes when I um, eat something that I shouldn't or breathe something I shouldn't, <laughs> kiss something that I shouldn't, I'll break out in a, these little... See the little red rash? I don't know what it is. Anyway, I just thought I'd let y'all know. I'm doing fine. I've uh, been busy as a bee. Busy, busy, busy. Been working on math. I can't tell you how many. I know it feels like I've put out a hundred or more. And there, I try to get them mailed out daily so that it doesn't get too far behind. And, uh, Oh, 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 just a little cough, nothing serious. <laughs> just clearing my throat a little bit. It's the first time I've talked to anyone today. Uh, did I talk, I talk to anyone? No, I talked to John. Um, and speaking of John, he's doing fine. He's got his, he's wearing his mask. He takes, he took a whole uh, little cart full of packages today. And um, just to let you know, Debbie, your your cozies are on their way. Uh, Miss Cross, your package is on the way. Um, oh my gosh, I got a whole list of stuff that went out. Lots and lots of. Um, oh, I used to have a little book around here. <laughs> I don't know where it is now. Wonder what happened to it. Anyway, uh, lots of packages went out. Uh, yesterday with lots of, of um, what do you call these things? Mask. Virus masks is what I call them. So today I got a, a stack here. This, this is for my sister's daughter-in-law. And uh, she loved the ones that I made. I made one for my sister and her, um, her daughter-in-law. And she loved it, so she's ordered eight more on top of the other orders that I have. So, um, so I've been doing, and in between, I'm doing little coin purses, and I've been putting out a few bags here and there. Just, you need a little variety because, you know, same, same, same. So, elastic is running low, um, but I do have enough, I think, I do have, you know, I'll show you. This is my little basket. And in my little basket is my elastic. They're all cut up and ready to roll. And then I have my my pipe cleaners. My little, what do you call these things? For the nose. I sew those in. And then I had some of this. Um, cut those up last night because it looks like I'm going to need those. It's amazing how fast you go through these. I mean, when you're making a lot of masks. So I've got elastic, and I even took, um, I had some real thin um, ponytail holders. That's what we call them. Y'all probably call them something else. But anyway, but I went through and I cut, I cut, see how thin? And they're in colors. So I cut a bunch of, I cut all that I had, and, and they're six inches, a little over six inches. So that's perfect. So I got that done. Oh. And let's see. You put, this is my little tray that helps me helps me keep myself instead of everything being piled up in front of me. You know, if I can just grab it, I stuck it over there trying to keep organized. But I got some cute cards, and I got this card from a crochet sister. Isn't that cute, Mickey Mouse? I love the that that goes on my bulletin board. And I got an Easter card. Just peeking out to say hello and bring this wish to you from Melanie. Oh, thank you for making my bag. I love it. Happy Easter. See, she sent me an Easter card. That's going to go in. And then I got a, a, a thank you card. So that's, that's uh, between Amazon and the few car and these cards. That's. Amazon every day. I go and I order 
I start to run out of stuff, so I order more. And Cheryl went shopping um, at her textile friend's place, and she got us some elastic and um, got me some liner stuff, uh, fabric, and um, so, and she got me some, how do you say it, B-A-T-A, Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. I'll think of the word. But anyway, she got me some different fabric. So that'll, that's shipped today. So I should get that Monday or Tuesday. So I'm happy about that. Um, oh, tons and tons of... Oh, the other thing, and this is like a, a, a PSA, personal service announcer. I got a message from um, I think my brain is tired and I got a message from a nurse in New Jersey and what they're using now is she said um, the um, the do rag like I made for John and they're putting but buttons above the do rag it's serving a dual purpose, you know, for surgery. And then um, put the mask elastic around that. So I made her a do-rag, and I put buttons on it. Um, and when you, uh, Sharon, I think, it, yeah, Sharon, when you get it, I didn't put the buttons in as tight as I should, and I was going to do it with the machine. But then I thought, well, maybe they're not in the right position, but buttons are easy to sew on. But they said seven inches from the middle of your forehead to the top of your ear so um i tried it on and it, it looks great you know and um so i mess i i went on and i did messenger with cheryl and i had had this on and my do-rag on and i said where's my scalpel <laughs> where's my scalpel i'm ready for surgery now <laughs> and so uh so my sister's daughter-in-law, she, you know, she's done some more, uh, sent me some orders. And then Pat wants me to do a bunch of orders, uh, uh, do rags. And I've, I've got like stacks of them already cut. Mm -hmm. So it just takes time. The bells are ringing all over the place. The phone is, is buzzing. This is buzzing. It's, it's unbelievable. And then I wanted to show you, I got some new colors. I got pink and for uh, my little coin purses. And I don't know if you saw the Kelly green. I think you did. And the Kelly green is a pretty color green. This, it looks dull here, but it's not. It's not. Then I got black. And as you can see, I'm still, I haven't, I finished this, but I have to attach it up here. But I got black. And... Then I got blue and pink, but in a different fabric. And this fabric is cotton, like 100% cotton. So, um, so I made. I'm, I was trying to make something different. So I haven't sewn. I haven't sewn it on yet. But once I get, you know, get the sewed on through those little holes, the tiny little holes, doing black at night. Man, I'm telling you, my eyes were just going, Bruh. I hate black. You know I hate black. And I hate working with it. So, um, I know it's nice color with certain things and stuff, but anyway. So, I have to sew this on. So, this will be an interesting one. So, I'm, I'm dying to see. So, what I do is I take a break at lunchtime or whatever, and I go into the living room, catch up on the news, and work on one of these. So, I've got the blue and that's coming along now the other thing is I'm doing a bunch of these for Pat Pat I have to show you what I got today I'm we're still working on these letters and I know I know you like the little charm with the initials on it and I, I like that too and I'm using them on other people's but um, so I found these they're iron on but I'm gonna sew them on. I mean, let me get this poked out so you can see. 
and like this letter E. I don't know if you like this or not, but if you do, let me know. But anyway, I, I have a different, and here's an S. Like if you want to put the S on the pink. And I can, I can sew these on, but they're kind of cute. But, and then I have, I think some of them are in pink. Like here's a B in pink. That if you wanted to put it like this with the pink. I like this. I like the color matching the, the, um, the, um, the purse. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Come on, tell me that you like it. Please tell me. I want to make you happy. I want to make you happy, 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 happy. So let's put a pin in this. Oops. See? I like that. Now, I don't know. I see if, if I got any green. I mean, it's. We might not be able. Oh, here's green. Like, here's. Here's an A. Let me show you. I know. I should be doing this on everybody's time, but you're getting to see what I'm thinking here. I mean, I really like these letters. Ow! Damn, darn, I picked... You wouldn't believe how many... I bleed like I... You know, with this... Warfare AFib stuff. Come on, baby. Okay. Like that. That's an A. So what do you think, Pat? I like this. I like this idea. And I like it... The matching... She, she wants a letter of e each one that she's gifting these to. And I had thought of, you know, I had thought of the these little charms. Of course, not that big, but anyway. So, like, this has got an S, and then I got these little charm things. But I could keep those, but I was thinking of putting that on. So let me know, Pat, what you think. I know you're going to watch this, right? I hope. <laughs> this is our way of communicating. So, I like this. The B and A. But I, I got two sets, and we'll see. We'll see. I know there's some double double ones, but we'll, we'll see if we can match up. But anyway, I, I just thought that was a good idea. And, of course, black. There is some black, but you can use... We could use, like, an F on the black, like this. See? Isn't that cute? And then there's a U... But I thought that was cute. And the, let's see, where's the P? P, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, P, Q, R, I. Here's a P. See the P? That looks good with the black. See? <laughs> you gotta be creative. But I, I want to make sure that she's really happy. So anyway, so that's, that's my thought anyway. So that's what I'm playing around with. Well, one fell on the floor. So that's what I've been playing around with. And I kind of like these. I, You wouldn't believe how many of these I looked at when I finally, to, to get the right letters and the right size. And I knew that two inches was too big and too wide. And so anyway, so I got all that. That's my idea. And we'll see. And I... Um, I didn't, I did, I'm in the process of making, but I'm making another, I made one, but I'm making another one of the Gasly group. And yes, somebody uh, asked me, I do have more material with the, especially with that guy knitting. Yeah, this is inside out because I'm, but I'm, you know, but I do have, I do have more of the material. Now, this is already, I think Pat is the one that requested this. So I'm, I was in the middle of making it and. And then I decided uh, to do that. I better get get some of the, you know, some of the um, masks made. So Cheryl and I have been very busy. Uh, uh, between she's making um, masks for her vet, and I think I don't know who else, but a bunch of people. So she's been busy doing that. So at night we get on, and I think we were up to like three o'clock one morning. Yet not let. Yesterday it was, last night it was two, the night before it was like three, but we, we sew and 
chit chat and keep each other company as we work. So it's not so bad, you know. So that worked out pretty good. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Um, just if you are interested in... Um, okay. Okay. Things popping up. Um, if you're in, if anyone is interested in making do rags with buttons, let me know, and I will send you, um, or I can reference. Um, I what do I have? I have her email address. I think I will. I will. Oh God! I, oh, please God, let me remember. Let me remember to do this. I'll reference. I'm pretty sure. Um, she just wanted me to make an announcement, and then if if other people hear about. Um, my crochet sister nurse down in Naples, if you watch this, um, if you're interested in any of that, let me know, because I, I would be happy to make them for you, okay? Um, it is a little bit more material, more, you know, more work and stuff, but darn anything to make it more comfortable. She said that the elastic is rubbing behind their ears because they're wearing them all the time. So it's, you know, it's starting to rub raw behind the ear. So the button thing is perfect. Now the buttons that I used, that I used on hers that were, were these. I have a box of buttons and it's an old candy box. I can't find it. I looked and looked and looked. It's in, it, it has not walked out of here. The only person that walks out of here, the only thing that walks out of here is me and the garbage. But I don't know what happened. I can't find it. So I got to find my box of buttons. But I had these. Um, so I used these. And it, it came to about right here. And then I put the mask on. And it was perfect. It was perfect. And I think the larger buttons. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me tell you how. This is like an inch. A little over, Maybe an inch and a, and a smidgen. But like an inch. So these are pretty good. Don't you just love this little thing? I use this all the time. I was making Debbie's um, cozies last night. And, and you have to measure two inches and then an inch. And this little one just, it fits, fits the glove. Fits the glove. And then when I do my, um, when I do my box bottoms, they're two by two. So I could just mark it. It's great. I love this little, I love this little, um, thing. <laughs> I've been eating too much ham. <laughs> oh, I fixed ham the other day and I've been eating it most of the week. And I'm telling you, I think it's making me brain dead. Or I can't talk and I'm thirsty. <laughs> Has a lot, I, it's not salty, but I'm thirsty. <laughs> I got most of my neighbors taken care of and Sue down the hall, she works for a nursing home and I made her one and she, they saw it down there. So, uh, the, the nurses aren't allowed to use cloth yet, but they're running out if they haven't already run out. And, um, so she, I made, God, let me think. I must've made. It's when I talk, I my nose gets stopped up. I'm allergic to talking. Um, I bet I made um, six is twelve, thirteen, fourteen, about twenty. I think I made for her, and then I made for my neighbor across the hall, Penny. And then there's another Penny that lives down the hall, and I made her one for her and her daughter-in-law. And then a guy upstairs, I made one. And then two. I want to take care of our local people, you know, the nursing home and stuff. And nurses. And then my sister's daughter-in-law works at the courthouse in Sarasota. So uh, she ordered eight. And Pat, you've got to let me know how many you need so I can, so I can start working on those. And um, 
You said two for each one, but gosh, that's a lot of mask, honey. But anyway, you let me know how many you need, how many you want, and we'll see what we can do to get it all done. I don't know, um, I can't remember, just a crochet, sister, Linda, did I send you any, Linda? I know I was going to send you a couple, one for Andy and one for you, or three, I guess, you, and I don't know if I sent you any at all. I have your name on an envelope, and I can't remember, but I remember writing down your address. Because I had your last name incorrect. Anyway, so so let me know if, if you got them. I don't know. Madonna, where are you? I've been looking for you, honey. I don't I don't have time to what and when I'm sewing and if and if I'm not on with uh, Cheryl, I watch Netflix movies because if I watch. Um, if I watch, what do you call them, videos of people's channels, they're like two, two minutes, well, they're short, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20, and then you have to stop and find another one and then go on and so forth. So I don't, I don't, um, I don't do that because I, I need something that's going to be long to term. Oh, Cheryl and I did, I, I will tell you this. We did the um, the 23 questions. We just did it for fun while we were sewing. And we, we got a lot right and a lot that we remembered and stuff. And a lot of things that surprised each other. So, yeah, we did that to each other. We were going to do it and tape it or whatever. But um, I told her we just don't have the time for that. <laughs> We're too busy. We ain't got time for that. But I am going to do this. I mean, what, you know, um, well, shoot, I'll, let's do a few now. I'll do a few. My favorite color. My favorite color is orange. Salmon. Any of those in the, in that genre there. My favorite genre of music. Rock and roll, baby. Yes, sir. From the 50s and the 60s. Favorite food. Fish. I love fish. Lobster. Salmon. I love fish. Any kind of fish. Favorite soda and pop? Don't do pop. Don't do soda. I drink uh, crystal light, raspberry tea, and lots of tea. I do not drink soda. Now, I did have a pizza last night, and I ate, I had a Sprite. It has to be decaf. But very rarely, I don't just don't drink sodas. Favorite animal? Of course, a cat. I love my cats. And favorite holiday? I don't have a favorite holiday. I used to, have, my favorite holiday was St. Patrick's Day. But that's not anymore. But that, back in the old days, that was my favorite holiday. Now I don't really have a favorite holiday. It's just like any other day. It's just me and Rosie, and she doesn't have a, she doesn't have a favorite holiday either. We were, Rosie and I were going to do this together. But she backed out. She says, I'd rather go and lay down and rest and sleep in my bedroom. So that's what she did. My favorite book. I am an avid reader, or used to be until I got real busy here. I I used to go to the library and check out. This before, you know, before, before. Um, before the channel. Before this video thing. I went out and I would uh, check out anywhere between 15 and 20 books and read them in the two weeks period that we have them, or three weeks, whatever it was. But I love to read. Um, I have some favorite. Sandra Brown, I like. Dan Brown, I like. Um, Stuart Woods. And I love Lee Child's Jack Reacher. I guess, I guess the rack, the Jack Reacher series is probably my favorite. But I like Stuart Wood's uh, Bone. Uh, uh, what's his name? Beringer. I like his book. I like his series on that too. So yeah, I have a lot of favorites. But I love books. Any kind of book. I can read. I could sit down and read, 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 read. 
as long as no one bothers me. Favorite pizza topping. My favorite TV pot blah, 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 on my gluten-free pizza is pepperoni and mushrooms. Normal stuff. Favorite pastime. I, um, well, I crochet and all that stuff. That's not really a pastime. That's a, that's a passion. <laughs> not a pastime. It's a passion. But my favorite pastime, I love to play bridge. I love any kind of card games, gambling, any of that. I love it. I just love it. Um, but I, I love playing bridge. And, uh, it's been about a year been about a year or so since I've played, but we I used to play anywhere from two to three times. And Mahjong, I used to play Mahjong all the time. And don't play Mahjong anymore. Um, I found that um, I, I couldn't sit there that long anymore. I mean, it's, we'd start, um, this is when I lived over in the country club, and we would start, at, we would meet on Fridays, and we would meet at noon say noon and we play till four o'clock that's four hours of sitting and my legs with the neuropathy and the it just it didn't like it my legs just didn't like sitting there but and I sold my mahjong set so I do like playing mahjong but I do love bridge I love card games I love I love anything that that I can figure out what's going on and it's just like reading that's why I like mysteries and thrillers because sometimes I can, I like the puzzle. And that, well, you'll know why I like that kind of stuff. Favorite TV series. My favorite TV series was MASH. I loved MASH. I It made me laugh so much. I just love it. Loved it. Still love it. I think they still have it on. Um, my favorite current TV series is The Walking Dead. I love The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Me and Petra, you know, Petra Fox, Foxy Creations, her husband loves Walking Dead, too. <laughs> I love The Walking Dead. Oh, oh. So her and I, her and her husband, we watch uh, The Walking Dead in separate states. Favorite fruit? Mm, watermelon. I love watermelon, but I love all kinds of fruit, but I love berries. Watermelon and berries, those are my favorite. Favorite vegetable, green beans. I, um, Southern Living, one time I found a, a recipe there. You take real beans, not frozen beans, not canned beans, but you take, you, you know, and steam your beans, put butter, put butter and soy sauce and mix it in with your beans you can almost eat them cold like that but i do i fix my green beans like that favorite subject in high school my favorite su subject was math i loved math because it's it's like a mystery yeah you know you debits and credits and all that stuff favorite actor my favorite actor um, my favorite actor, one that really, I think, can change his personality with each character. You know, some people like, say, John Wayne. I know half of you don't know who John Wayne was. But he was the same in every movie. And I think that was what was happening to Matthew McConaughey. Because he's, he's my heartthrob. Oh, yeah. As my grandma would say, he could put his shoes under my bed anytime. But anyway, he, he was in those comedies, and I think he, you know, realized that he wasn't, he wasn't really acting. He was just being himself, basically. So, but he ventured off, and he did some great, and he did a movie called Killer Joe. Oh, my God. I hated him in this movie, but he was good. It was a good acting. But my favorite actor is Ed Norton. He did uh, First Murder and all that. But he's a great actor. Um, so I really like, I like his movies. I don't miss them. But Matthew McConaughey, he's, I, I just love to watch him. Um, favorite singer? <laughs> 
Michael Jackson. End of it, period. I loved and still love Michael Jackson's music. It's up, it, it gets me moving. It, it's, I don't know, I just love Michael Jackson. And it's a shame that we lost him so young. My favorite female is Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. I love her music. I love what it, how it makes me feel. And uh, Adele, I love Adele. I, I love, oh, ooh, I love her music. Favorite superhero. My favorite superhero. Oh my gosh. Favorite superhero. I don't, I don't have one. I tell you what though. Everybody's a superhero that does does these YouTube channels. <laughs> Takes a lot of work and effort, I tell you. For some people, I mean, they do beautiful work, and they're my hero if they can do. But right now, of course, the the medical people are my heroes because they are beyond the call of duty, and God only knows we all appreciate it. My favorite comedian, my favorite favorite was Robin Williams. He he just even now I'll look back at something. He's crazy. He was funny. And he was a great actor too. I mean, he could he he did some great movies. I I don't know if you've ever watched any of them, but he uh, he can be very dark. And I can see now. Uh, they say comedians are usually very depressed and all that. I mean, Steve Martin went through all that, so you know. My favorite season, fall. I love the fall. I love the fall colors because I'm fall. My coloring is fall, so I like fall. Especially up in Virginia. Oh, ooh. Favorite movie. Oh, jeez. My favorite movie. What is my favorite movie? God, I, I love movies. I forgot what my favorite movie is. I like them all, really. They're all great. Except that some of the movies they're putting out now is not the kind of movie I like. But I like the the really good movies. The older movies. I can't think of any. I can't think of what it was now. To Kill a Mockingbird was a great movie. I can watch that. Oh, oh I know. Um, I can't think right now. I can't remember what, it, what my favorite movie is. That's all right. You all will figure it out. My favorite smell or scent, oh my gosh, because of my allergies and asthma and, you know, all that immune system shit stuff, oh my God, I caught myself, um, I don't like a lot of odors at all. Even the fabric odor makes me stuffy. I love the smell of sheets that have been hanging out on the line in the sunshine. I love the smell of the sunshine on sheets. Oh, I don't know. I've always loved that smell. And the second smell is, is wet dirt. I love wet dirt when it rains and it's dirt. Oh, Jesus. Oh, favorite kids. I don't know. Uh, my favorite kid is Rosie. <laughs> she's my kid and she's my favorite. Favorite decade. 50s. 50s and 60s. Absolutely. Favorite YouTube channel. All of them. But, no, really. Honest to God, my favorite YouTube channel is Toes and Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> Anything to do with toes and feet and Dr. Pimple Popper. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm addicted to them. And it got me. It did it, it, um, when, uh, Cheryl's Goosey was alive and she had a sore on her foot, she, Cheryl sent me a copy of, a, a picture of it, and she said, you know, do you, do you think this is what I think it is? Or she knew, she basically guessed what it was, and I said, oh my gosh, that's an ulcer, 
she's diabetic, that's an ulcer. She needs to get that taken care of because she could lose her foot if that gets infected. Well, I'll be darned, it was an ulcer. So, you know, you never know. Uh, but yeah, I love, and a Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> the more abs obsessed it is, the better it is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love those. I can't help it. I just I had just watch it and because and then and then I was visiting Penny down the hall and she's diabetic. And I said, Penny, I said, um, how are you I know you're diabetic. I said, have you ever had any trouble with your feet or your toes? <laughs> she says, No, but I go to the uh um Medicare pays you to go to the podiatrist if you're diabetic every 90 days. She says, so I go to the podiatrist every 90 days. <laughs> so you see, you, you gotta know these things. <laughs> you gotta know about your toes and your feet. Because <laughs> if you don't have toes and feet, you can't get around, right? So you got, And you gotta keep, when you take up to take a shower, Make sure you drive between your toes. If you can reach them. Now, I can't reach mine. <laughs> That's the hard part. You can't take care of your toes if you can't reach them. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, give me a good pimple and a good abscess and I'm happy. <laughs> the DC doctor, I like him too. He's a podiatrist in DC on George Avenue. I know exactly where his office is. I said, if I ever go back to DC, I'm going to go visit him. <laughs> Have him check out my feet. <laughs> I'm cracking up. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but it's funny. <laughs> you gotta laugh at yourself because who in the heck is gonna laugh at you with you or whatever. So anyway, that's that's my favorite. <laughs> but I love I love everybody. <laughs> I do love I do love a good pimple and a good foot. <laughs> And it helps, it helps, it educates me. That's like, um, telling y'all funny stories. So what the heck, y'all ain't got nothing else to do but listen, right? Um, um, we were teasing, um, Cheryl and I were teasing her husband when, I call him Chucky Wucky, Chucky Wucky, about using the rotor blade. And I said, and she said, you know, that, that you cut. I said, yeah, that would be bad. I said, what are we going to do? We can't take him to the hospital. <laughs> she said, well, we can go on YouTube. How to sew up. How to sew up. How to sew on an appendage. <laughs> I said, yeah, I got the mask and the hat. <laughs> so we can fix him right up. I said, I'll read and you sew. <laughs> you can go on YouTube and find anything you want. Anything. <laughs> So, yeah, so you could take care of it. Somebody, you know, needs some stitches, just go on YouTube and get your sewing, sewing needle out and some. Oh, you could use floss, I guess. Dental floss. Stitch them up. Oh, it's amazing what you can do on YouTube, isn't it? What you can find to do. I'm sorry, I had to. My nose was running. <laughs> I had to catch it. <laughs> well, I think that's, that should be probably the end of my videos. <laughs> and I'm I'm getting tired of sewing. I want to get back to crocheting and knitting. I got my knitting needles to start my project for 
for Linda, that's that cardigan, you know, that little cardigan. And, uh, and I got things I want to do. <laughs> and plus I've got over here, I've got two, um, let's see if you can, uh, uh, can't see. Anyway, right there is two, um, of the bags with handles, uh, the granny square bags. There's two of them over there. And I got one almost, uh, almost ready to sew together in, in the living room. I thought the other day, I said, you know, maybe I should just take them for a tour around the house <laughs> so they could see my craft apartment. <laughs> it's no longer a craft room. It, it, oh, excuse me. Gosh, I'm belching. Wow. It is now a craft apartment. Every room. Bedroom. Cutting. All the fabric. That's my cutting room. If I can make it in there. <laughs> living room granny squares and that's where I put my little coin purses I have a little, all that all set up and then we walk in here the bathroom <laughs> the bathroom has totes in, it. in the in the top I barely have room for myself <laughs> oh shut up <laughs> That's a phone beeping. I should have never gotten that cell phone. <laughs> That's <are> crazy. <laughs> okay, I think I've had enough. And I haven't had anything to drink. And I'm just at my crystal light raspberry tea here. <laughs> so I think I better get busy. I got a ton of, um, you know what, uh, to make. And new orders are coming in all the time, so I've got to. If you, if you sent me a message, I haven't answered today's messages yet. <laughs> but I will get to them at around lunch, <laughs> my lunch time, not your lunch time. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. We'll get we'll get through this. But you have to you have to laugh and. You know, I know things are bad, but or not so bad, and checks are start going out on Wednesday. <laughs> so uh, not checks, but the direct deposit deposits start on Wednesday. So uh, um, I'll be getting two, I guess, one for the for Social Security, and then one for this this. So oh yeah, we're doing great. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody, please. Don't go out without wearing your mask. I beg you, please don't go out without wearing a mask. It might not be 100%, but even if it's 10, 20, or 50%, it's better than nothing at all. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, maybe eat a piece of pizza, finish my tea, and uh, then I'll start sewing. I know I'm a late sewer. <laughs> I'm always late. No, I slept in this morning. I was just so daggone tired. I'm a little tired now. I might have to take a nap. But, I don't know. I get my energy late afternoon, night. The way I go. I'm not good in the mornings. <laughs> I'm not good in the afternoons. But night, I seem to do alright. So, I answered Debbie from Canadian Crotch, I answered those questions. And Rosie would not. I'm sorry, but Rosie wouldn't play with me, so. It's just me. Now y'all know all about me. <laughs> okay, everybody. I will talk to you later. Please have a great day. And thank you, John, for taking my packages and all the wonderful things that you do for us. We appreciate it. My stamps and everything. I can't remember if I thanked you or not. But I'm going to hit the button here and say goodbye. Let this thing roll. Let me clear up my nose. Flonase. Somebody said I should use Flonase. Oh, well, I didn't take my Clarendon. I don't know. I don't know how many to take. I have to go on and find out. 
that's what we were talking about. I, I told uh, Cheryl, she said, well, how's the Clarendon doing? I said, well, you know, I don't know how many to take. I take one one day, two the next, or I don't know how many I should be taking. She said, well, go on YouTube <laughs> and Google it or whatever. She, oh, no, she said, first she said, look on the box. I said, well, you took them out of the box. I don't have a box to read. So I'll go on and say how many I have. To, I should probably take a couple now so that I can... And my poor Rosie, she's got, she has one eye that leaks. She has allergies. <laughs> she's, she's a model of me. Whatever I got, she's got. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye, and I will talk to you guys um, maybe sometime this weekend. So you know that I'm still kicking. Still rolling out of bed and hitting the floor every morning. That's all I can ask for. I would love to make I got something I want to make out of those and out of that oh dear but I was thinking about maybe taking off this weekend and do crochet <laughs> but I got too I got too much to do if people need these masks it's not like something you want to put off until next week or something so I'm going to get as many as I can get done today but once I get started that's it and that's why I'm, I'm procrastinating because uh once i get started then i'm the other night i uh cheryl said well call me later and we'll work together well i sat down here i guess it was like five or six or something and i'm just working away working away next thing i know i looked down at the clock and it was like 11 30 or something i hadn't stopped for lunch, for dinner or anything i was it was unbelievable how you when you once you get started and your your mindset is set on that project for me at least then I'm that's it I'm gung ho I do it that's it Cheryl said she I'm like a workhorse but th but that's you know that's what makes me happy you want to be happy like my Ma, like Madonna says you want to be happy. Or whatever she says. I don't I can't remember right now. But smile. Laugh. You gotta laugh. Life is funny. Even more funny now. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go really shoes. I I just can't seem to do a short short. <laughs> well, you guys are my friends and stuff. Who else am I gonna talk to besides Cheryl? I need to talk to somebody else sometimes. And you guys are it. <laughs> so enjoy your weekend. It's Easter. Um, and I'm sorry that you can't go to church. If that's, if that's your thing. But God sees you at home. So say your prayers at home. He'll, uh, he'll take care of you. For sure. It's like just get dressed up. Get dressed up. And get with your Easter basket. And sit in the living room <laughs> and uh, hide eggs all over the house so you can have an Easter egg hunt. That's what I think my parents did that once. I can't remember because it was snow I think and they did that. Hid the eggs all over the house. That was easy to find though. Okay everybody this is it. I'm, I'm hitting the pike. Well, I'm not hitting the pike, but I'm going to hit the kitchen. Oh, God, it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. Talk to you later. Bye, kids. I think I'm... What happened? Oh, God. I can't even hit a button, right? <laughs>